Hello there. Hope you are doing well. So here we have a, one of the text uh, that give us the direction for questions. So this is known as a fill in the blanks question. Um, or you can talk about missing the sentences. So or missing the sentence. So on the basis of the uh, text, you would find out um, a statement is given and with the four blanks are there, we need to keep it, uh, keep that statement in any of the blank which is logically fit. Okay. So let's come to the discussion of this particular question. Um, so the directions for question is what? There is a sentence that is missing in the paragraph below. Look at the paragraph and decide in which blank, option 1, 2, 3, or 4, the following sentence would best fit. So what does the statement? The statement says, just how do these embroids know what to do? Just how do these embroids know what to do? So the paragraph stated here, the main statement, intelligent decision-making doesn't require a brain. You were capable of it before you even had one. Beginning life as a single fertilized egg, you divide it and become a mass of genetically identical cells. They chatted among themselves to fashion a complex anatomical structure, your body. Um, blank, even more remarkably, if you had split in two as an embryo, each half would have been able to replace what was missing, leaving you as one of the two identical monozygotic twins. Likewise, if two mouse embryos are massed together like a snowball, a single normal mouse results. We have no technology, but that has this degree of plasticity. Recognizing a deviation from the normal course of events and responding to achieve the same outcome over. So here we have four options. Uh, bracket 1, bracket 2, bracket 3, bracket 4. In any of the brackets, we need to put the statement just how do these embryos know what to do. So we must understand that when we put it, so definitely the blank must be logically connecting to the statement. So we need to object the previous sentence before the, means before the blank, the sentence before the blank, the sentence after the blank. Right or not? Let's see that. So, the idea here started here. That what? In blank one, if you talk about that, intelligent decision making doesn't require a brain. You were capable of it before you even had one. So, in option one, can be eliminated. So, here it cannot be used. Uh, the particular statement which is pointed, right? As the question statement mentioned, these embroids, isn't it? What does it mention? It mentioned these embroids. So it is stated that intelligent decision making does, doesn't require a brain. You were capable of it before you even had one. Beginning life as a single fertilized egg, single fertilized egg, you divide it and become a mass of genetically identical cell. They chattered among themselves to face in a complex anatomical structure. Your body, so here uh, the embryos know what to do. So this is written, so it cannot be means, uh, fit in the first blank. Right. So if you look into the option two, option two is also incorrect. Why? Now, because the sentence succeeding bracket two discusses a specific example, right? Specific example related to embryo de development. It follows the previous sentences and provides an example of how embryos can adapt and develop under certain condition. Therefore, the question statement can be, you can say that, placed here. Question statement can be placed here. Isn't it? Um, means it can't be placed here, right? So in option two also, it can't be placed here. Likewise, if two mouse embryos are most 
together like a snowball. A single normal mouse results what? Now, um, that's we have no technology, but that has this degree of plasticity. So third blank, it seems like it is the correct answer because the question statement logically follows from the previous specific exam. The sentence preceding bracket four appears to conclude the discussion by adding highlighting the remarkably plasticity of embroids. Therefore, the question statement can't be placed in bracket 4 as it provides an abrupt ending to the passage. So, we eliminate option 4, right? And hence, we find out the correct choice. So, it's called as option 3. Hope you understood the idea given into it. So, we can simply say that the missing sentence logically fits in bracket 3. The preceding sentence in bracket 2 discusses the ability of an embroid to replace what is missing and the following sentence in bracket 4 talks about the remarkable uh, plasticity of embroids. The question statement just how do these embroids know what to do? Logically connect with the idea of embroids adapting and researching or responding to achieve specific outcomes making bracket 3 the most suitable answer option. So here we can find out option 3 will be our answer. Okay. So I hope you understood this. That's all. Thank you.